what's up, Level Up here, and today we're going to be doing a quick tutorial just about how to animate a television, turning it on and off within your RPG Maker game, like the one I have present. Yeah, I walk up to it, TV's on, and a lovely C track plays. Now I can walk up to it and turn it off, and then it's off. So I'll be showing you how to do that with just purely event steps, so let's get going. Alright guys, so you've got your two different things that you want for your TV animation right here in a separate tile set. I find the easiest way to get these into the game as an event, which is what we want to do, is to copy these over to an already existing tile set and just rename it. So, what you want to do, I use the flame as a default, but you can open up, if you go into your games, um, your image file and then characters, this is where you get all the images for your events. So as you can see, I've selected the flames and I've also got the grid set to 48 by 48. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy one of these and I'm going to put that over... Oh, it's on the wrong layer, mind you. So yeah, I'm going to copy, copy this and I'm going to paste it over into here. I'm just going to place it in this top one where the flame is. Um, and then I'm going to go back over to the other one. Alright, so you want to copy this TV and then paste that one also over in the next flame in image. Um, I apologize for the bad, the bad tiling by the way. Now what you want to do is you just want to, you want to place them um, in the middle. So as you know, the tiles are four by four. So four by three goes three across, four down. You just want to place it in the middle um, and then once you have it like that, you can save it. Go save as, and instead of flame, I don't know, we want to export it, sorry. Uh, export as PNG, and instead of flame, we'll call it TV. Now, when we go into our RPG Maker, we want to open up our resource manager. We're going to import it uh, through the image characters. So I'll go import, and then we'll go, where is it? Over to TV. And then if you try to open up an event here, you should be able to, under the flame thing, there's flame, you can select all the different ones. And where is TV? Here's TV, and you can select all the different ones. So to start the event, we're just gonna select the blank TV. We'll place that on the screen. So here's the blank TV, it's nothing special. Um, what we want to do is turn that into an action button, which it already is, and it's the same priority as the character. So that's currently facing down. We want it to face left to turn on when the characters simply touch it. So what we do is we walk up to it and we go, um, if the character touches it, we'll go set movement root, this event, turn left, and then we'll just put a self switch A. Um, so cell switch A is on, and then we'll go control cell switch, control cell switch A. And then up the very top, you want to make a new event page with, so down here you don't want cell switch A on, but in the new event page, if cell switch A is on, we do the same thing, but in reverse. So I've got this thing here, the TV that's on, we'll go new. We'll, uh, when the player touches it, obviously, we're going to set the movement root for this event to turn down. And then after that, we're going to make a new self switch. We'll turn self switch A off. And that should turn the TV on and off. So let's try that in game now. There we go, the TV's on, TV's off, TV's on, TV's off. So that's how you get it, but um, maybe you want some sound. So let's just uh, let's just put a I don't know. We'll, let's go into a sound, some background sound. All right. So you don't want any of that. So if you want, because I've got a news reader there, you, you can record your own sort of news reading um, to play as a background sound. But for now. All I'm going to do is, before I turn the self switch A on, I'm going to go new. I'm going to go change background sound. So, play background sound to quake. No, to C. And then it'll play. 
So that's before the self switch. And then over here, before the self switch, we're going to go um, play BGS 0. So now when we turn the TV on and off, it should play a sound. So there we go, I've turned the TV on, and a sound is playing. And that'll continue to play until we turn the TV off. Now the TV is off, the sound is off. Obviously there's a, a few discrepancies with the events, like if you leave the room and come back, the TV will still be on, but the sound won't play. You can do that with a few um, conditional variables and events, but for now you can turn the TV on, and some sound plays, and you can turn the TV off, and the sound stops. Hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial guys, thank you for watching, if you like my content then please subscribe, also don't forget to click see more in the description below the video where you can see all of my links to my social medias, my medium blog and all of the other lovely stuff, thank you guys and happy game making.